All right, so I'm going to go through the Manage IQ Extensions Depot. Uh, the purpose of this is to uh, upload, store, and share the extensions that you write for Manage IQ. This includes like state machines, any kind of uh, automate uh, components, um, policies, uh, any kind of you know dialogues, any kind of extension that uh, will help those uh, customize their uh, manage IQ deployment and get started. So there are a couple different parts I want to show you. One is the, um, the repository that you, uh, where the uh, uh, where the repository where the uh, depot content is stored, and the other is the uh, the website repository for manageiq.org. And then I'll show you what it looks like um, in the end. We are getting very close to a, a depot beta, but we need extensions. We need people uploading your content. So let me let me walk through the uh, the format uh, of content you upload so that uh, you can figure out how to do it. Uh, so I'm looking here at the repository, the depot repository here on github.com. You can see that from the URL, it's github.com slash manageiq slash manageiq underscore depot. And when you look in here, you'll see uh, two directories and a readme. Uh, each directory here corresponds to an extension, uh, both of which I selected from uh, things that I found, and I put them up here as samples so that we can have something to work with. Uh, and when I look at the, uh, inside the, um, uh, the directories, there is a, uh, there is a format uh, and, a, and some guidelines you need to follow for uploading your own content. So first off, um, in each directory, there are, there's an images subdirectory. Uh, this is where you can put any screenshots or any other images you want to display uh, in, your, uh, in your description page, in your content page. And then there's another um, subdirectory called scripts. This is where you store any kind of code uh, that you want to, um, that you want people to be able to download uh, anything that you need to to run the extension that you want to share. And there's a content.md file. It's a markdown file. Uh, this is any kind of this is the full description and set of instructions for how to use uh, the extension that you're uploading. Um, and you can also embed screenshots in there that are pulled in from the images file. And then the fourth item here is the metadata.yaml. And this is where you store all the uh, author data and collaborator data, uh, everything about versioning, uh, which, which uh, release of ManageIQ it works with, uh, a description, uh, tags. Um, so everything that you need to associate with that extension. And you can look through the list, list here. Um, so that's, that's that. That's the, that's the format we want to follow for all extensions we add here. Um, if you want to start adding yours, uh, fork this repo, and then you can issue a pull request uh, to add your new extensions. And I think I have, yes, at the bottom of this readme, there are the uh, directions for, um, for issuing a pull request uh, so that we can add your extension. Do that, that would be great. Uh, this repository is pulled in as a git sub module in the manageiq.org repository, which if I go here, You'll see, and I'm, um, and you'll see that I have, uh, I've isolated the depot WIP or work in progress branch, and this repository automatically pulls in as a Git sub module uh, the repository we saw a minute ago. So when you add your extension to the depot repository, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, doing anything with the website repository because it gets pulled in automatically. And the website repository, you need to make sure to check out your branch, the right branch, uh, so that you can actually see your code in action. And you can actually test it before, um, before issuing a pull request. So let's say you want to, let's say you've, um, let's say you've uh, added, you've, you've created the content for your extension and you want to test it. So what we'll do is, uh, let me go here. Uh, so I have checked out a, uh, a fresh version of the manageiq.org repository, which you can see here. Uh, you can see the files inside. And when you look at it, you see this stuff. Um, so like I said, there's submodules, so let's make sure, let's make sure we've uh, initialized our submodules. And I've already done this. If you, um, 
if I had not done it, you would have seen a, a response that said something to the effect of, you know, they, they're now uh, initialized. And now I want to make sure that I've got the latest in each submodule, and I do. Um, and now I want to make sure I have the latest code in the website. And now I need to make sure I'm on the right branch. I'm in the master branch. I've created, I've checked out the other branch for the depot-wip, which I named just depot. I'm going to switch to that branch. Okay. And let me make sure I'm... And okay, uh, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're, um, okay. Whatever. Uh, it's all right. So, so in this in this um, branch, I have the the depot code working, and what it does is it pulls in data from the YAML and the content file, and just displays um, displays the text and gives you links to download uh, the code. So let me, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and run it. Uh, we're we're the website is based on Middleman, which is a Ruby, uh, it's a Ruby-based uh, sort of flat file uh, HTML generating system, uh, similar to, and there's several uh, like this. So I need to, um, we have a shell script that makes sure that uh, everything is set up. So if you just want to run through that, um, it sudos, so it, it asks for your sudo password. And check for packet, and it went through um, to make sure all the right Ruby gems were installed, which they are. So now I'm going to run it. And oh, whoa! Oh, I'm already running it. <laughs> Sorry. Let me let me stop this. Okay, we're good. And now I think I know why. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll... Okay, now we're... Uh, now we're cooking. So... Let me go to the website. And after going to the um, manjq.org site, the first thing you'll notice is that these, this top level nav is different because you now you can see a depot link. If you click it, um, you'll see oh, this is this looks interesting. Um, understand this is a work in progress, so uh, it's, it has a tendency to change. Let's see. Let's, oh, there we go. That looks much better. So um, you can see the the tagging. You can filter by tags at the top here. Um, you can you can click on each individual um, uh, each individual extension, and you can also filter by the tags uh, associated with that extension. So if I want to filter by data, uh, then it gives me you know everything with the data tag. If I want to go into an individual extension. I can have uh, you know most of the metadata here, which is pulled directly out of uh, pulled directly out of uh, out of the metadata that YAML file, um, and then a description and the tagging, and then you can see all the scripts that are associated with this extension. And this is there any code uh, that you need to actually make the stuff run uh, is listed there. And then we go into a full description as well as uh, instructions on how to use, in this case, the object walker. If you want to uh, peruse uh, or walk through all the uh, the list of all the objects uh, that are in a ManageQ deployment, and you can see the embedded screenshots, all that. And so, if if this were a an extension that you were uh, writing out and you wanted to add it, this lets you check it, uh, and then you can start uh, generating pull requests to have it added to the repository. So. And that's basically it. Uh, we need lots of these, so uh, I hope I hope you will uh, 
Hope you'll write a few. Thank you.